here, this big box here, is ah, our vent. Yes, it is huge. I didn't know it was going to be this big either. So I'm going to talk you through briefly what sort of vent we have got here. It's pretty awesome. Not your basic vent. So this is obviously you can see called a turbo vent. What this does, let me go through it with you. So you can see it's pretty big. This is going to go here, slightly off, off um, centre a bit. Because of the way the ribs are here, the way it goes across the dents, it makes it so that each side of it attaches on a flat surface. And the only way to do that is to have it off centre. So this is going to be the cooking area here. So it means that we've got it directly above because the cooking area is going to be sort of around here near the window as well. So we can have that open for extra ventilation if needed. So it comes in two different colours. So you've got the white one and then you've got sort of this black transparent one. The white one isn't transparent, the black one is. It doesn't really matter which one you go for. We went for this one because we've got a black and white theme going on with our van. So with the white van and the black windows, we just thought having the black top here looked a bit cooler. So if you look here, what it does, so it's, a it's got a touch panel on, which is really modern. So this controls everything you need. You've got the on off button. You can make it so that um, the vent can bring air into the van or equally push air out of the van, which it says here. So obviously if you're cooking, you want it to come out of the van. If you need fresh air in the van and you want some oxygen or you want some you know, clear ventilation, it's good to do the opposite where you have air coming in the van. It's also got a thermostat control so that you, it regulates the temperature of the van to a degree. Obviously, it's not a heater, but what it does, it's ideal for the summer when the van's hot. It will start pushing the hot air out or if it feels it's, the temperature's dropped a bit and it needs warm air from outside. Yeah, it, it's very clever technology, but it will help a little bit with the temperature of the van and it will automatically readjust its vents accordingly, which I think is really cool. All right, we'll have a closer look at the, the vent itself. Uh, so we've got the, the vent out of its actual package and comes in sort of two main sections. So you've got the lower section, so this is what you'll actually see on the actual underside uh, and the panel. And this is the lowering of the flap uh, on the outside of the van. Um, so that comes in. There's the control panel sort of electrics you can see in just in there. So just pop that off to the side. So you get your instruction manual, you get these sort of tabs here, they're for the inside of the van, so when you put the screws on they go over the top so it makes a nice finish. You got your 12 volt electric um, hook up, of course it's um, powered on 12 volt electric so you've got your negative and your positive, um, so you can like hook those up when it comes to, to the actual electrics itself. And what we've had to do is um, we've had to get an extension kit which is this thing here Now the reason behind that is because when it's mounted on the van it can only be a certain distance away from uh, where the underside of the panel sort of fixes underneath um, so where this fixes you've got that little hole there which goes on this six section here which opens up the vent so you can only have that a set distance away. So the further you are away, the you need to have the extenders on here. So because of our roof of our van, we're gonna have to um, put extenders on there just so that it gives us a bit of flexibility. So when I offered it up, it, was, it was, wasn't, um, wasn't gonna be long enough. So we had to buy those separately. So inside the fan here, you can, I don't know whether you can notice that they've got like a mesh, like a metal mesh. That's a really good feature of this fan that allows, um, stops any sort of insects coming in once you've actually got the vent open. Some fans don't actually come with them, so you've got to watch out for that. Particularly if you obviously have the flap open, they're going to want to come inside the van. If you've got the lights on, etc., they're just going to be attracted. So uh, try and look out for ones that actually have a uh, mesh, which this particular fan does. So... The opening itself, so this inside edge here, this is what we're going to have to um, uh, cut out of the van, sorry, uh, outside edge there. We're going to have to cut this out. So this is um, needing to be, uh, you see on here, so uh, 39 centimetres is the opening between your inside sort of fixing point 
and the outside of the van. So the outside panel, you've got these sort of flaps that go overlap, and then when you screw in, you're going to screw into your timber, and then you've got your bottom section there that is attached sort of separately underneath. So there are two sort of separate sections. So what we need is uh, is some sort of jig. And what we've done is we've produced a square jig in order to understand where, what we're actually going to cut out on the outside of the van. So this fits just inside these sections here, so it's going to sit on that panel like so. And all we've done is just screwed in uh, at the sides, so two screws there, two screws there, two screws there, two screws there. And we just put this uh, supporting uh, timber on just to keep it square. Otherwise, if it's off, off center and you're cutting out that hole when it comes to put the van at uh, vent in, it's not going to fit in a complete square hole. So we put this in here and then just put a square inside just to make sure that it was completely um, completely square. So that, uh, that sits in like so. And then of course, on the other side, this bit here will go into the into the vent and then drop, drop down in on the underside. So we're going to use this jig on top of the van to draw around a bit of a stencil. So it's going to be positioned slightly off center, as Megan said, away from these ribs, so quite close to it, like so. Um, and that allows us then to be able to draw around the inside edge. But we're going to do this on the outside of the van. And, um, and then that will give us our, our opening, which is really cool. So once that's cut out, we'll, uh, we'll talk through the, the next process. Okay. Okay, so we're on top of the van and we're going to look at the, um, the hole that we want to actually cut out on the side. We talked about the, um, the ribs that are actually um, popping up on top of the van. So you can see these here. So these uh, would pose a problem if the edge of our vent was to actually sit on these platforms because you're going to have all sorts of like gaps in the section. So you can imagine if this was the vent, you've got huge gaps either side that you've got to sort of pack out and fill, which is, um, it just creates potential problems. And also you're going to have huge amounts of like plastic and stuff underneath it. So what we decided to do is bring it off the ribs and you can see instantly that it's a much smaller but also consistent gap. So yes, we'll have to pack it out, but it means that we can put tape from length to length rather than all different sort of heights. So we're gonna to plan to have it slightly off center. And we know that this is the thickness of the outside of the, the vent as well, just because it's gonna fix, this timber's gonna be on the underside of the van. So we know that that's the outside. So when it comes to drawing it, we'll draw the inside of here, because that's the bit that we're gonna cut out. And we just need to make sure it's nice and square and that this edge here is flush with this edge at the back so that the front of the, the, the vent itself actually sits quite nicely and it's not too close to the actual uh, slope inside of the, the van itself. So fingers crossed when it comes to marking it. We, um, hey Gareth, we'll be all Gareth, right. Gareth, guess where you are right now? Uh, on a van. On the top of the world! <laughs> <laughs> holes in each corner as close to the edge as possible so that when you've got the jigsaw 
you can also turn it around the corner without it getting jammed so then we can cut it out before we do the next bit which will be the usual using metal paint on the edges letting that dry and then fitting the vent <laughs> So what have we done? So we've d painted the edges of this now. So it's all been sanded down as you've seen the video. So it's all been painted. So now we're just letting that dry. Luckily, because it's actually a very dry, windy day, it's drying super quick and this isn't far done. It's almost pretty much touch dry. So that should be done just under an hour, which would be great. So what we've done here is for the wooden frame, obviously you can see we've cut little dents in there because we want it to fit around the bumps here. So where here so that it's just so it's as flat as we can get it to the metal so obviously this handle is just to make it easier to lever on once it's attached you can take this handle off and it's a bit it's just a rough job so you're not going to see it but we've just smoothened off the edges there as well so that it's slightly rounded off just so it follows the rounded corners of the van hey Gav tell us what this stuff is here because I have never seen this before so this is a bit like um, Sikaflex, um, where it a bit in a sort of tape form. Um, so it comes in a roll like so, and um, you basically apply this onto the roof. So when it actually clamps down on the actual roof itself, it goes into the um, the, the tape itself because it's really, really soft. I will be putting um, Sikaflex on top of this, but this is really um, for when we've got undulating uh, panels above. 
it allows us to sort of build up a layer so it's nice and flat. Mm. Um, so we'll be using this stuff uh, for for above and uh, using the Sikaflex on top of it to create a and nice And where do you buy this from? Um, I think you can get this from most um, sort of leisure um, stores, even um, likes of eBay, Amazon, loads of places really. Um, and you can just get them in a roll, different thicknesses as well. Um, you see the thicknesses on the side here. This is just like a standard thickness, which is like 32 millimetres uh, wide. Mm. Um, and then you get them in 19 and also 45. So, um, yeah, hopefully this uh, this stuff's going to do the, the job because um, this is really where people get most of their leaks in the, in the roofs. Well, yeah, water sits on it as well. It doesn't That's run right. off it like the sides. So, so the hoping, roofs are really important. I'm hoping that it's going to do the job and because it gets really messy when you have to take things apart. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this, uh, this is what you lose to a W4. Obviously, we haven't taken this off yet, um, and we haven't put the face on, so we've put the main vent in. So it was a lot harder than we thought. Okay, so just as we cut the hole out, just as we put this on, so we actually put two layers of this around the rim of the cutout, it started to rain, and it wasn't forecast to rain. So I had to get a big umbrella, hold it there, wind blowing, oh, and it was just going, but luckily we managed to keep it dry for Gareth to put Sikaflex onto the vent so that he can then actually attach it on top of the van. It was okay though, the rain only lasted like an hour, pointless. So he stuck it down, so we pressed it down with the Sikaflex, we have got it on video. And then on the other side, I held this wooden frame up against the van, pushing it with all my might. I make it sound so dramatic. So we use self-tapping screws to screw through the little holes that are already in the vent into the van, or through the van, through to the wood. So that it holds it on. Obviously I'm pushing on this side as he's doing it. So on the very tops, we filled the holes with Sikaflex as well, the holes that the screws are actually going to go through into, just to really reinforce that whole sealant, just to make it really watertight as possible. Now there was one little issue as we were doing this, and that is, one of the corners at the back of the vent, where you screw a screw through, cracked. So what happened is it was it was one of the corners was, wasn't quite aligned, so it was pressing against the wooden frame, and it wasn't going down. So the pressure of Gareth trying to screw down, and it wasn't flush next to the wood, it was just slightly off, the pressure caused it to snap a little bit, which is really annoying, because this is quite an expensive thing here. Um, and when that happens, then it's like, you're just like, oh no. So he's put lots of Sikaflex in that crack after finishing off the rest of the screws. And we're hoping it'll be fine. Best thing to do is just leave it now, let it dry, see if it leaks. If it leaks, well, we're screwed. If it doesn't leak, fantastic, we'll be fine. <laughs> 